Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix Sweet and Atria. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you why your lasso tool doesn't work the right way in Photoshop. Every single time you're using it as a tool to retouch your images using frequency separation. So if I told you I've always had issues using the lasso tool and knowing the best way to use and apply it to your images using frequency separation, this is a tutorial for you. And if at all you find this video really helpful as you watch along, make it a point that you hit the like button because when you like this video, it also helps you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. So without further ado, let's get started with this for a tutorial. So I'm just going to come and I play my frequency separation action right here. And I'm going to play a 16-bit action because this is a 16-bit image. So I'm just going to play it. And for the radius, you have to determine the amount of skin details that you want to remain with in your final retouched image. So I'm just going to take this all the way up. Just like that. Up to a point when the textures are just starting to disappear from this very image. So at around 7 that is when I'm just starting to lose out on the details or the textures. So remember you have to be careful with this point because this is going to determine the amount of textures that are go you're going to remain with in your final and retouched image. And I'm just going to come and hit OK and action is going to continue running and playing and create for me these folders. So the most important emphasis for this tutorial is going to be the lasso tool. I'm just going to delete the black and white layer. So when you're using the lasso tool, always have you have to make sure that you select the low frequency layer because it is on this layer that we want to get uniform skin tones in this very image. So after selecting it, this is the lasso tool right here. So you can come and you select the lasso tool, or you can use L on the keyboard. That is a shortcut for the lasso tool. So right now I want to show you how you can easily set up the lasso tool. So usually when you're retouching or you're, when you want to apply the Gaussian blur on different areas using frequency separation, just come and make sure you select this option that says new selection. So when you select or when you check on this option, it means as you're making selections on the different areas of the skin, it also means that you don't have to come and right click and deselect the selection you, you can just click out from the selection or you can go straight to making a selection on a new area so let me first of all show you what i'm trying to mean by this so if at all you have selected this option and you try selecting here you can see that it has this add option on it so if at all you come and make another selection the previous selection is not going to be deselected I hope you're seeing this. So in order to deselect this, you have to go through all the trouble of right clicking and coming to deselect and you can deselect the selection. But if at all you have selected this option that says new selection mode and you come and make a selection onto a skin area and you're done applying the Gaussian blur, then you come and you want to make another selection on another area. You don't have go th to go through, you don't have to go through all the process of deselecting. You can just click out from that selection and it's going to automatically be deselected or you can as well after making the selection you can just come as soon as you start making a new selection the previous selection is going to be automatically deselected so that is the importance of selecting this option then the other option that is going to be the feathering so with the feathering this is where most of you tend to go wrong with this option that says feathering feathering is more of the edges of your lasso tool the edges of the sele selection of the lasso tool. So for example, if at all the lasso tool is all the way to zero, it means the edges are going to be very sharper and the higher the feathering, it means the smoother the feathering. So let me first of all demonstrate that. I'm just going to make a selection right on the forehead area. So if at all I want to see how smooth the edge is, I'm just going to simply press Q on the keyboard. And when I press that Q button, you can see that the edge of my selection is very sharp. I hope you can see how sharp this edge is because the feathering is at zero pixels. So I'm just going to press Q once again and deselect. So if at all I want the edges to be smooth, I'm just going to choose a radius of around 22 because this is what I tend to use. And I'm just going to make another selection. And when I press Q again, you can see how smooth that edge is. So if at all you're using the lasso tool, Make sure the feathering is at around 22 pixels. So I'm just going to press Q once again. So after you have noticed and set that 
right? Make sure and alas is selected. So if I told you I've always retouched and you always have those annoying lines from your selections where the edges of the last two selection are passing, always make sure you check the feathering option. So let me first of all demonstrate that as you're trying to maybe retouch the image, zero pixels. So I'll come and I'm going to make a selection onto the skin area with a zero pixel kind of uh, feathering. So when I come to filter, I come to blur, I come to gush and blur right here. So I'm just going to come and I start taking up the radius up to a point when I feel like I have a very nice skin texture for this mode and I'm just going to hit OK. So as soon as I deselect that selection, you can see since we are using a radius of zero pixels, you can see it has left out that annoying line on the edges of uh, the selection. You can see this. That annoying line is what we usually we don't want to affect the image you can see so what we have to do basically we have to always make sure that the feathering is around 22 pixels so if at all we come and we apply our gush and blur the same way with around 22 pixels you can see that it doesn't leave that annoying line that was existing before so that is how to use the lasso tool then the other mistake that i tend to see is some of you when it comes to applying the lasso tool in some areas it tends to pick out color from one area to another so for example if at all you wanted to apply it right here you come and you apply your gush and blur so as soon as you can see or notice you can see that it carries color from the nearby area and applies it on the skin area so what i would recommend while using the lasso tool technique Always make sure that you keep away from the edges. So you have to keep within and leave a reasonable distance between the edges. You can see right now I've left a reasonable distance between the edges or the outlines of the image. And when I apply the Gaussian blur, this time around it doesn't color, it doesn't carry color from this area to the skin area. So that is another thing. Then also the mistake that I tend to see most of you people use when it comes to using the lasso tool is when it comes to the nose area most of you tend often often times just select the whole nose and you apply the gush and blur so let me just do that and i show you this mistake so when you apply the gush and blur on the overall nose you can see that it is going to make the nose a little bit bigger and it is going to make it a little bit look flat so if at all i'm to hit ctrl or command z you can see the original nose has that nice shadow on the edges and that nice and beautiful highlight but when you come and you apply your gush and blur after selecting the overall nose it is going to make the nose look flat and look a little bit bigger and that is going to distort the original facial structures of a model remember when you're retouching we don't want to distort the original facial features or structures on the model's face so what i'm going to do i'm just going to undo that and i show you the right way to do this so when it comes to the nose area make sure you make a selection on these shadow areas like that right click and you apply your gush and blur and also come to this other side of the nose you can come make a selection right click and apply the gush and blur then when it comes to the highlight in the nose or on the nose area you can right click and you apply the gush and blur if at all you want to apply it but always make sure when you apply it it is going to be a little bit too much so just come right click on that selection and you can come the option that says fade gush and blind can simply reduce on the effect because you don't want to apply too much of that and simply hit OK. So basically, this is how or the right way to use the lasso tool when you're retouching using frequency passion. And if at all you have learned something new from this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.